And now Adnan makes a cut, gets looked off, gets looked off, looked off, gets looked off, looked, 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 looked off, looked off. All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what an intro. We didn't. Oh, well, that makes us sound way cooler than the. Actually, are yeah. Maybe I don't know. Shout out to yeah. Brad for that one. Yeah, it took five weeks. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of time. We had to. Lots of equipment. Yeah, I had to run a <laughs> recording studio. <laughs> Welcome to week five. Five. Yeah. Five of the look off rules are arbitrary. Can be changed anytime. Um, no winter league this week. We had a bye week. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> good, good for my mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Joe finally hasn't lost <laughs> first week of the year. He's smiling today. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us are fresh off a Groundhog's win. No big deal. Champions? Yep. Yeah. That's not, <laughs> not me. You're right. It's not no me. big deal. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> we played our hearts out, Libby. And on Valentine's Day of all days. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm Brad Kotecki here with Joe Mama. How's it going? I'm Libby. Hey, Libby, y'all. Luby Lehman. <laughs> <laughs> Very special episode this week where we're going to be talking about nicknames. Oh, yeah. Nicknames in Cleveland Ultimate. The good ones, the bad ones. <laughs> and it's going to be free form and probably pretty bad to listen to, but maybe we'll have some fun. So to start off, uh, let's start with a bad nickname first, unless either of you have something to say. Are we? Do we want to do all the good ones first, and then all the bad ones, or start off, or just go for completely free form? I just, I think we want to go free form, and then at the end try and we'll figure out the, the ranks. Okay. Leave it with a, a first place nickname. We'll give you a prize if it's you. Try to change each other's minds. <laughs> yeah, whoever whoever wins can be a special guest some week, maybe. For our future. <laughs> if you like one of our tweets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like our tweets. <laughs> send us an email. Anything, yeah, yeah. Send, the, email, the email has been pretty lonely, for sure. Just spam. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of spam, <laughs> nickname. But let's start off with a real bad oh, one. That, that was a good one. Yeah. Forgot about him. He's, he's gone. He's, I think yeah, he's, he's been Sam gone Diego. for a couple of years. That is. His name was Sam. Sam oh, Haining? Yeah, Haining. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. he was on the Summer League team. He was yep. a fun guy. Was Summer awesome. League legend. <laughs> Spam. That's, that was a good start. Good pull. But I think the best way to start is with the worst nickname in the room. <laughs> Luby. <laughs> if you don't know who that is or what that nickname is, that's just evidence of how bad it is. So this was a nickname that Notorious... Ooh, maybe 2016 um, tried to assign to me. Um, you know it's bad when it <laughs> it comes up whenever I wasn't even so. present. There's no backstory. There's no inside joke whatsoever. Um, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, are you <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was. It had a short run, I think, mainly while oh. LP was in town. It had a short run, uh, but it's making a comeback now. <laughs> Literally, commentary, watch out. Oh, I'm playing you this week, so uh, I, I, <laughs> I think Abby Chekai made a, a valiant effort to make it a thing, um, but it's just. It was bad. Yeah, not great. Especially since Libby's already a nickname. You can't make a nickname no. with a nickname. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Not by our not standards. Yet, really. <laughs> not, by, not by the standards of this podcast. Yeah, Olivia is a nickname in the same way that Joe is a nickname for Joseph. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Luby is bad, though. Yeah, Luby. Not great. It, since we're just starting off, I think, like, one thing that needs... That makes a nickname good is how prolific it is like how much people actually use it i've literally never heard anyone call you luby in your life and yeah it's a bad nickname yeah i mean it's bad for a lot of reasons but that as well yeah i think we talked about how you know some of the the names that we kind of brainstormed um i mean some of these people we don't probably most people don't even know their real names (laughs) Uh, and i think that that's indicative of of a, a pretty good nickname I mean, I don't think Tarek knows your real name. Well, that's, so that, <laughs> that, that's, not, that's not saying does much. Does that make it a good nickname? Well, Tarek doesn't know anyone's name. 
Yeah, I think I, for me, I how prolific it is is important, but it but I don't think that just because everybody uses a nickname necessarily makes it a good nickname. And no, maybe definitely. maybe that can segue into one of my bad nicknames. Which maybe is going to be a bit controversial, but Falcor. Falcor is on my, my worst nicknames list. For, mo- mostly for one reason, and I'm a bit biased here, I'll admit it. But I knew a Falcor before Falcor was Falcor. And that is our Falcor's <laughs> fault. And that so. is his fault. And, and the origin story for how he got his nickname Falcor is also terrible. Which for me is like a big part of what makes a nickname good. Uh, is having like a good origin story, or you know, just like makes sense that wow. big his nickname. I didn't even think about him when we were putting our list together. <laughs> That's how low he is on my list. <laughs> he lost my umbrella. Um, oh man! But how did he get his nickname? I don't even remember the exact story, but it was something like uninteresting. Know, yeah, it, it was like, oh, he's a freshman, and we need to give him a nickname, or someone else on the team was already named Nick. And so they were just like, oh, we'll just like make up a nickname for you. And so they made up Falcor Moonblood or something like that, which is this well, they quote unquote make, full nickname. They didn't make up Falcor. Isn't Falcor the character, the flying dog well, from the Never Ending no. Story? No. So the Falcor that I know that I played against in college, who was Falcor before our Falcor was Falcor, who is also now Danny Runzo's boyfriend, and they. Lives small in world. Yeah, yeah, it all comes crazy. World. But <laughs> See you he, next week. He, <laughs> he is, his nickname is Falcor, like the dragon from Never Ending Story, which is spelled F A L K O R. And where did oh, yeah. the but, dragon the German, get its nickname? But the Cleveland Falcor is different spelling, has nothing to do with the dragon. It's just uh, uh, bad. It's bad. Sorry, Falcor, your puppy's cute, but your nickname's bad. We still like you. <laughs> I'll get on board with that as being a bad nickname. I don't know. I don't know Joe's old friend, (laughs) but I didn't realize that it wasn't spelled the same way as the movie, so it's just meaningless. (laughs) Luby, you got any bad nicknames to throw in the? Excuse me, Luby. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think if we want to, um, I don't know, continue on the same trend of. 2016 notorious dad <laughs> nicknames. Um, there are a couple plays on people's names that just never really stuck because it they shouldn't have <laughs> ever been thought of. But um, Grabby, Abby Chekai went by Grabby for a while, which, yeah, she can make some really good catches, but it's just not a good nickname. Um Susie went as boozy for a while. Um, Fits perfectly. <laughs> it's just a lot of... Uh, a lot of rhymes. A lot, a lot, a lot of, of rhyming, yeah. <laughs> Which I just think isn't... Uh, is never going to be substantial enough to to warrant a, a good nickname. Boozy seems like the kind of thing that uh, a team puts on, like a Sin the Fields all-star nomination video to try to get Tad... To, to like them. Yeah. Stuff a far range. Yeah, yeah, not necessarily <laughs> a, a great nickname, though. <clears throat> Background I'll, to Brad? I'll throw out every initialism. Oh, yeah. Th- th- yeah, that's the easy one. So yeah. I GT, went... T, B, T, I went PK, through... PK, Easy, MC. <laughs> do, you, do you have them all listed? I have 11 <laughs> of them listed. We've got B, T, M, C, A, K... Easy, JT, JD, LP, JC, KP, PK, JZ. I don't know. JZ is the only one I'll give. <laughs> <laughs> there might be more. I don't know. Probably. There are definitely more. Also bad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. JB, did you have JB in there? I've got JB. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Well, I can't think of any more than <laughs> All right, are we still are we still on bad bad nicknames? Here's um you know a little bit more than just initials, but another one that fell into my worst category list was uh, BFFW. <laughs> uh, I know it really rolls off the tongue. I'm a big fan of BFFW. <laughs> That's a good nickname. <laughs> also, just never really caught on. I don't think, but um, the the story behind that that's an Andrew Thompson nickname um, from his his pre-puberty days, I think, <laughs> um, where the comment was made that he looked like a young Weston, uh, a baby fat-faced Weston. 
<laughs> he's really, yeah, he's wait, really, he's so really... let me get this straight. You are still arguing that this is a bad. <laughs> he's he's really really grown up. <laughs> How far you've come, Andrew? How far you've come? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's going on my good list. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, for next on my bad list. Kind of calling myself out here, and that's Q, the newest Q, Jordan. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name, Jordan. Sorry, uh, but I I basically nicknamed him Q because I was tired of the confusion with us having Jordan Lith and Q. Realizing that not only was there already a Q in Cleveland Ultimate, but he has a younger brother who still lives in Cleveland. Cunier. Who was Cunier, which is on the good list. Cunier is in Cunier my top is five. Great. Cunier, Cunier is good. great. But I think yeah. he, he, or I don't know if he goes by, but I think a lot of people just call him Q because a lot of the like younger case people who know him now don't, don't know, know the original Q. So they just call him Q. But now, because of my laziness, we've got a new Q. So I mean, you know, it's not your fault, Jordan, but I think it's it's in the bottom. It's your fault, Joe. It's my it's my <laughs> fault. I didn't plan this, but if we're talking about Q, he had one of the greatest moments in my <laughs> ultimate career. At Wait, ten, which Q? See, the yeah, original, Q. the original Q, the, yeah. the old school Q. At ten forty one year, it was super cold. Somebody, probably Dave Arders, who we'll get back to, <laughs> rocketed a, a throw at him as he was cutting under, and it hit his thigh and <laughs> broke in half, <laughs> just completely split into. <laughs> it was the best. It was like my first year playing. Dave's Ultimate. got a rocket. <laughs> it wow. was so good. I think Q was also the first captain that I had for Winter League. Original Q in a year. Also, his dad was my advisor at Case. So, fun facts. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. More good nicknames? Good or, ones? Or oh, more man. bad ones? Does anyone have any more bad ones? I have no more that really stuck out as being... I've got, I've got one more bad one. It's a, it's a newcomer to Cleveland. And that's Jackie, who is on, on our <laughs> podcast, <laughs> on, our, on last week's podcast. Sorry, Jackie, but uh, J Money 69 is <laughs> very bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's not great. You can keep trying to make it stick, though. <laughs> I don't think it'll be a thing. Yeah, I haven't heard anyone call her that except herself. Yeah, I mean it's not, it's not really a, you know it doesn't like totally fit the criteria. She's not people aren't calling her that regularly, but still it, worth a shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> if you exactly. were to say it, I wouldn't know who you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, I'm out of bad nicknames. Yeah, I think I've got again nothing that really s- specifically stick stick out in terms of. Um, I think, again, self-prescribed nicknames that never really stuck. Um, I think Ashley Gann tried to make Gash a thing for a while, <laughs> which could have been all right, but I feel like anytime someone comes up with their own nickname and tries to make it a thing, that's a surefire way for it to not be a thing. Yep. And the opposite is also true. <laughs> anytime a nickname has come up with that the person doesn't like, it's pretty good chance it'll stick. Don't make Luby. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, Luby. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on to some good ones. Yeah, I think we move on to some good ones. All right. Um. Well, this one's not a Cleveland original, but definitely in my top five list is Luda, aka mm-hmm. Crystal Das. Um. So she had that nickname uh, from playing frisbee elsewhere. Um. That came from Luda Crystal, Ludacris. And I, I think the sign of a good nickname is if you know someone for years and you don't actually know what their name is. And until this very moment, I didn't know her name. <laughs> 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 yeah, so <laughs> Luda, great name. I will say that now as she gets deeper into her professional career, I think she's trying to make a push to make crystal a little bit more of a thing but good luck with that it's not going to happen yeah too late (laughs) (laughs) uh i'm gonna throw out one you know somebody that i know is near and dear to all of our hearts 
Danny Bones. I think it's a great nickname. So his, his initials, D-R-Y, Dry, gave gave rise to Dry Bones, the character from Mario something. It's like the Koopa skeleton guy. I never knew that. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, you know, a lot of people call him Bones. It's definitely not on the level of people don't know his name, but again, that's uh, that's not really part of my criteria, so I think he's up there. He sends too many emails for uh, people to not know <laughs> yeah. his name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. I think um, also in there that, you know, again, we talked about um, kind of, the the backstory behind names and that being relatively important for it um on that list is wendy uh, that's another person i feel like a lot of people don't know his his full name um and that came from um uh, that he's from dublin ohio which is where wendy's the chain restaurant. Uh, I, didn't I didn't know that, uh, nor do I know his real really? name. <laughs> uh, Matt Lehman. Um, ah, okay. So related to Luby. Yeah. yeah. Not related. Um, but yeah, I think it was whenever he came to Case, uh, the Case Frisbee team assigned Wendy. Case Frisbee him. team does does love Wendy's. Yeah. So. I'll stick with Case and shout out Future, which is mm. a yeah. great nickname. I don't know how he got it. Because they, uh, he was he was pretty good as a freshman, and everyone just said he was the future of Case Ultimate. <laughs> All right, well there it is. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And he was he was uh, uh, led the team for a long time. And being on the topic of Wendy's does remind me of another name <laughs> that I think should be put in the bad category, which is Grandpa Scuttles for Lindbergh. <laughs> It's it's good in that it perfectly describes everything that Lindbergh is as a person, but. <laughs> it's bad in in for, for kind of the same reasons, honestly. <laughs> Similar vein, uh, Dad Nan. <laughs> I don't have too much of an opinion about it, but you know, I think it's, it's not a high opinion. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, another one. A guy who was actually, I think, the first person in Cleveland Ultimate that I ever met. He picked me up to take me to my first Lake Effect practice and immediately told me or apologized to me if the car smelled like farts because he might, he might have farted but has no sense of smell, so he couldn't tell. And that is Corey Cat Tower Hilton, so named because he, he runs a cat tower building business. Uh, so if you need, if you need a, a nice cat tower built, he's the guy to talk to. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one too. Just yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. <clears throat> you know, one we we did talk about uh, you know self proclaimed. I talked about how self proclaimed nicknames I didn't think were usually good, but one that I think was was um, chosen by themselves was Trotsky. Um. From Case, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I think that he just chose to put that on his jersey <laughs> as a... I don't know. I'm going to have that wrong. So I think he... I don't know if he gave it to himself, but I think he showed up with some shitty <laughs> full sub jersey that had a bunch of, like, Soviet just <laughs> insignia and faces on it. Like, it had just a big picture of Tr- Leon Trotsky on it, and therefore it stuck. Okay. okay. He... If he gave... I have that written down as a good one, because I don't know what his name is, and he was my teammate for, like, three years. Alex Abbott. Okay. That makes sense. But if he gave himself that nickname, I'm willing to say that it's horseshit. <laughs> I, but I will say the commitment to it, I mean, to have that printed on Leon Trotsky on your sublimated jerseys for years is, you know, I can, I can get on board with that. I appreciate just embracing that wholeheartedly. Yeah, it's pretty good. I actually, he was on one of my, on my summer league team the first year I came back to Cleveland for grad school. Uh, And I thought that he was the same person as Bit because his name was Alex Abbott. (laughs) And I heard people talking about this guy Bit who was a case guy and I hadn't, hadn't met him yet. So that was a, a nice confusing moment 
for me. So, you know, even more confusion about people's real, <laughs> real names. Uh, all right, am I, am I next? Bit's, Bit's a pretty good nickname. Bit, Bit's yeah, not bad. I think that's good. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's, it's above average, I think. Yeah, maybe average, but yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> you got, I mean, there's a lot of initials out there. That yeah, are, that are dragging the average down. Yeah, I will say not. Uh, you know, kind of talking about initials. One that I had on my some of my best lists that I also think was came to this person before they came to Cleveland um, is Cha Cha. So her full name is Charlotte Chang. Um, so it's kind of in the same vein as initials, but way better. I think that's a great nickname. I never put that together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought it was just Charlotte. So Charlotte, Charlotte. Yeah, no, I. She's from Charlotte, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a good name. Yeah, it's not bad. I will say, you know, as I was making this list, it was pretty hard to come up with women that have nicknames. I think it's interesting how much more of a thing that is. I think for men and on men's teams and than women. Like, I think, I mean, I probably have, I don't know, 10% of the names that I wrote down are girls that have nicknames. I don't know. I don't know why. I have no further analysis (laughs) of that. Just. I mean, I know some of the teams, like I know the Washi women's team, I don't know if they still do this, but in the past they, it was like not a rule per se, but it was like they assign a nickname to every single person. Which also just kind of lends itself, as we talked about earlier with Luby, yeah, bad to bad names. nicknames. Yeah, and that's why I think, because yeah, we had, I wrote some down from Case where uh, Sharon, we called Share Bear for a while. Mm. And then similarly, Sam Colkey, we called Sammy Lammy for a while. <laughs> um, Olivia Sonnefeld, we called Upstate. And the, uh, Olivia Vic was Smalls. But again, they were never really, it was like forced nicknames. Yeah, I've never heard any of those, Luby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have a lot of regret I, about this, <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Speaking of names that never stuck but should have, the Chilean <laughs> Daniel Lehman, <laughs> which, if, if my story is straight, was someone was like, we need to come up with a nickname for Daniel Chilean sounds like Lehman. And that was it. I don't know who it was, but it's great. Uh, big fan. So I think, um, I don't know, that there's a whole group of, I think what, the year that Daniel started playing in Cleveland, uh, there's also Chappie. Oh, man, I which, forgot about Chappie. <laughs> I don't remember what his... His real name was uh, Z- Zach. Zach, but I don't remember his last name. Yeah, so that was another Worcester Worcester guy that I think had you know what had a short stint in Cleveland, but yeah, had yeah. Like he a played pretty... he played Lake Effect uh, with me my first year. Yeah, and then continuing on the Worc- <laughs> the Worcester trend, uh, we have curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm gonna let you tell the story because I don't think I know. Oh the whole my god! Story. Yeah, I forgot. I don't think he plays ultimate anymore. So that's Joe Morgan, who is another Morgan. Worcester guy. He was like a tall, pretty like lanky dude. He did like a lot of distance running kind of stuff, and he got the nickname Curtains because <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he like brought spaghetti back from a restaurant and then <laughs> at a tournament. At a tournament. At yeah. a tournament. And then, like, spilled his spaghetti and sauce, like, all over the white curtains of the hotel room. Just, like, huge mess. It was, it was awful. <laughs> Just, like, yeah. I think that that's where the, the Kevin Weiner quote, learn to function in society, <laughs> yeah. came from as well. Um, so that was two good things out of that incident. Uh, a pretty good nickname and and a so, great slogan for Kevin Weiner. I might... 
be conflating him with someone else, but I don't know how many people I know with curtain stories. But the way I remember that story was that he actually just, he was eating something and he wiped his mouth oh. on curtains. <laughs> that actually might that sounds, be yeah, it. That, that actually right. might be yeah. it. Okay. Both of them, yeah, learn to function in society. I mean, spilling <laughs> is a little more understandable depending on how the spill occurs, but... Yeah, I think, I think it, it was. I, think, I feel like Brad is right. Yeah. yeah, wiping your mouth or hands or whatever on his curtains is yeah it's absurd yeah great name great name um so i'm gonna go to another one that i think is is a somewhat similar vein which is caps lock oh i forgot about that (laughs) uh i say somewhat similar just because i think it was also i think that was still when it was lake effect and that was uh bob sent like a series of emails in all caps and it was just, you know, it was just like responding to regular emails, but for whatever reason, his, his responses were in all caps. And then people were like, why are you, why are you yelling or whatever? Uh, and his response was something like, oh, I'm on my work computer and I can't turn off the caps lock or something. <laughs> but angry. Uh, and I think, I think it took him a while to like come around to that nickname. I, I think he, he hated it for a while, which of course, as I mentioned, is a great way to... Say. To make it stick. I feel like probably when he started to come around with it is when it stopped getting yeah, used. <laughs> yeah. He he used it in our team Slack this past year, so I think Oh, good. I think he's come around come around to it now. Well, that means it's dead. None of us are <laughs> yeah. gonna use it again. Uh, one guy who needs no introduction that I feel like we've had a few nicknames try to stick for years and he probably has nicknames going back to the eighties that we don't know about. But Dave Arters. <laughs> <laughs> Most recently known as Pretty Dude Dave. Pretty Dude Dave. Former to that, known as ODA, sometimes still known as ODA. ODA is also great. ODA is amazing. Pretty Dude Dave made me really happy when it <laughs> happened. Have we talked about where that came from on the podcast? No. I, don't I don't think, think we... so. So we were in a group chat and talking about it. This Can't. is before the first week of Winter League, so we're trying to figure out the camera situation because yeah, we know we need, we need two cameras for... To film the two games and someone typed to joe uh joe do you have a second tripod or something like that and joe's response was pretty dude dave does <laughs> because his phone auto corrected sure, sure today to, to dude, dude. <laughs> and thus pretty dude dave was born yeah just a fitting name couldn't have come sooner <laughs> that was a fun one to see yeah pretty dude dave for yeah. <laughs> Everybody instantly our mascot, knows who you're our podcast about. mascot. Yeah, yeah. Check out yeah, the Twitter. Us on Twitter. <laughs> follow us on Twitter. Uh, I, another guy that I think will will be in everyone's top is uh, is Gush. Great name. Yeah, the Gushman. Brad, you want to you want to tell the story? I don't really know it. So, I think the Bowling Green alumni, the Bowling Green team, used to try pretty hard to give people nicknames. And the way I've heard this story is at the first tournament, Gush showed up with Gushers. And so they just started calling him Gusher, which has been shortened to Gush. Uh, and it's a great name. His real name, Ryan. Like, he's not a Ryan. <laughs> it, just, it just feels wrong. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's wrong. His, if he hasn't legally changed his name to Gush yet, I don't know what he's waiting for. <laughs> But one thing I was thinking about as I was writing these down is other BG alumni that I know. And they're not, I don't think there are many of them too active in the Ultimate community anymore. But Skippy. Who's Skippy? No. No. Am I making a person up? (laughs) Okay, I thought there was a guy with Skippy lived with Carlos or was friends with Carlos. Maybe. It doesn't sound. I don't know who Carlos is. You don't know Carlos? (laughs) Guys, all right. The only other BG person I can think of was Carlos. I don't. I don't know if I know Skippy. But my assumption. It like it my, yeah, my assumption on Skippy is that he also brought <laughs> Skippy peanut butter, and they're just like, "Oh, hey, he's Skippy now." And there are probably like three years of BG alumni that their nickname is just whatever snacks they brought. So Gush is really good. The rest of them that may or may not exist are bad. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> 
about how about soup? That's not necessarily didn't make it into my top list, but as we're talking about food, um, so that was broth. So broth <laughs> turned into okay. broth, yeah, that's that which turned good. into soup. And I think that the best good. part about that nickname is everyone yelling soup on the sidelines uh, anytime you did anything, just holding that out. Uh, yeah, that was that was good. While we're on the topic of food, pinecone is a pretty good name. <laughs> <laughs> pinecone, yeah, pinecone's great. It's just, I mean, it's just perfect. Like he even, yeah. uh, when we released our smokestack roster last year on Twitter, you know, I like sent it out to Pinecone and Falcor to like make sure that everything was right before I, I sent it out. And he was like, I had him as, as David Picone and he requested that I change it to David Pinecone. <laughs> that's, that's how much that nickname is him yeah. at this point. Yeah. I mean, that's, that was just a, a toss up, a given. Yeah. Well, I got another food one that I think is worth worth mentioning, and that's the Toblerone. Toby Harvey <laughs> played Smokestack a couple years ago. He he was an Oberlin guy. Uh, I don't know exactly why we started calling him Toblerone, but that led to me buying Toblerone and handing it out to people anytime they did cool stuff at tournaments, <laughs> and also having a bunch of leftover Toblerone at the at the end of the season. It's a win win. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He was he was a fun he was a fun dude. Yeah, bread. Yeah, There's bread. That is another food. Yeah, that was a a group text message. Somebody auto or tried to type in my name and auto corrected to bread. So it's like, oh, who's going to be there tonight? List of ten people, <laughs> and one of them was bread. So not many people really called me that anymore. There are a few who exclusively call me bread. Pretty dude, Dave, <laughs> Kevin Weiner, but yeah. Hmm. So yep. speaking of Wayner, he's he's got a nickname, right? Which something like is it Harvey Birdman? Harvey oh Birdman. wow, that's I, a throwback. Yeah. yeah, and I mean no one really calls him that, but I don't I don't know if any of you know the story because I'd love to hear the <laughs> where that one came from. I don't. I think that he was his very bird-like features. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that was a, an MC one. That would okay. be, I guess I'm not and sure. It's though. lost, lost to the yeah. sands of history. Yeah. <laughs> if you know where it comes from, tweet at us. <laughs> email, email us. Email. <laughs> podcast at gmail dot com. Um. Well, how about Stitch? Yeah. That's. I mean, I think made all of our top lists probably. Sure. Yep. Um. I think that just came from whenever he was super young and he fell and got stitches. And that's the story I've heard. Nobody knows if it's actually <laughs> true. <laughs> Probably him least of all. <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty pretty prolific. Yeah. And Rooster. Ooh, Rooster, yeah. where did that come from? No idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Couldn't tell you. That but. one's yeah, definitely predates well I guess maybe it doesn't predate Cleveland since he yeah. <laughs> lived in Cleveland before. If I had to guess, it's from Ohio State, but mm-hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. It's fitting, for I, sure. I could ask I him, but, I, came from, but I'd kind of like to let the mystery be. Yeah. Keep the, the intrigue. I get another good case one that I'm assuming neither of you know, which is uh, Kennelly, who's the rookie on the case men's team. His nickname is Rito. Short for Dorito, because apparently his face looks like a Dorito. <laughs> I don't exactly know like what that means, but I like it. <laughs> that, that takes me back to a kid who played one year at Akron or two years at Akron, Cheeto Boom Cats, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, I have no idea where that came from, but I think that was one where he came to like his first practice and he introduced himself as Cheeto Boomcat Zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. He got that like very early on. I think in like the first week of school, it Ooh, just ha- it caught on. I don't I don't know exactly how. I don't keep up with with all of the goings on, but I mean that's in the case circle that is very prolific. Yeah, that's pretty much everyone calls good. him Rito. Like that. Sparky. Yeah. Anybody know where Sparky came from? I feel like he stole me, but I don't remember. I know it was from high school. 
something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because he's fast. Yeah, I track. was gonna say it, it fits track, him because so. <laughs> he's yeah. very fast. Yeah, it is. It is good. It's <clears throat> very fitting. So, and it's another one of those. It's just very. Uh, prolific in terms of its use yeah yep there's the the great Tarek story of of Tarek trying to guess <laughs> sparky's na- uh, actual name uh <laughs> you know where someone's like Tarek, do you know uh, sparky's actual name and he said "Ooh, it sounds like anthony dario i'm gonna <laughs> guess anthony barrio <laughs> which of course it was wrong <laughs> As far off as I would have thought yeah. that it would have been. He was on the right track. I will say that Eric's been trying to, I feel like, uh, has been giving Sparky a bunch of other nicknames recently, yeah. too. Tony, Rigatoni, Well, Tony's Rigatone. Just, just his name. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a nickname. Yeah, well. Like Libby. No. <laughs> nickname. Luby. <laughs> or Luby, yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I only have, I guess I have two more. I have two more as well. I have a handful more, but Let, they're, like not, yeah. they're not more. worth talking about, probably. Um, Barnes for uh, Zach oh, Burns, that's good. which is pretty good. That's another example of one that I think started off as just like a typo. No, I think it was uh, so when he played mechanics and Amir was announcing the game. And throughout the whole game, he was calling him Zach Barnes. Is that where it started? That's, I, that's the story I heard. Okay. Well, I just, I remember him <laughs> not liking it and that leading to us calling him Barnes so is, yeah. a ton. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that one, that one's fun. Yeah. Other ones that are on my list, Diesel, I don't know where that came from. I mean, it's it, pretty fitting. Yeah. But <laughs> it's because know. he's a Vin Diesel fan, <laughs> I think. Okay. And that's, it's because yeah, he is Vin Diesel. Better. Swanee. We haven't brought Swanee. up Swanee. Yeah. yeah. Short and last name. Yeah. Kind Similarly, of. Monty. Boy Monty. I do like, so um, there's Girl Monty and Boy Monty, and I do like that they are referred to as Boy Monty and Girl Monty. <laughs> Uh, well, Girl Monty, Lauren doesn't really go by Monty anymore, or at least not at Case for the last couple of years. Okay. But, I feel like... But I'm sure people... Yeah, did. I'm sure people that... Uh, I'm sure people still refer to her as Monty. Yeah. And her, her nickname is... The origin of her Monty is also way better because it's because she's, she's from, Montana. from Montana. Yeah. Where is Corndog from? <laughs> that's, um... <laughs> that's a good... That's a good... So I think that... Uh, that was Eric's... Um, that's just like a... I feel like following a, his train of thought... Um, so it started off as, because we called her Julia, mm-hmm. and then Eric started calling her Corn Julia, and then it turned... What? Wait, why? <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's like a, uh, maybe like a Beavis and Butthead thing, the great Corn Julio. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know that what that is. That sounds That's, familiar. it's something. And then... Yeah, the great, the great Corn Julio. Okay. And so then that turned to <laughs> just cornhole, and then that became corn dog, which I think which that's is a, a good nickname. Yeah, yeah. Now that I know the story, it's I'm on board. It's not because she brought corn dogs with her to her first <laughs> <No>. tournament. <laughs> Although power move. I think the good thing about that though is I don't think that Julia liked it at first. <laughs> But I think that now she's she's more on on board with it. If you're listening to this and you're still in college, take corn dogs <laughs> to your next tournament. <laughs> Tweet us the pictures. You're welcome. The <laughs> underscore look off. I don't the, know, whatever. Yeah, is. the <laughs> underscore look off. Correct. Corn dog. Good name. Yeah. All right. I think it might be time to talk about what I think is the best nickname. In I Cleveland think it Ultimate. probably topped all of our lists. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about Joe. But yeah, definitely. yeah, I, th- I think, I think it's Donnie Light. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie Light. Donnie Light. For those of you who don't know, Donnie Light's real name is Brian. <laughs> I've been with him before, where his dad has texted him and has called him Donnie. <laughs> it's it's just such a thing where I don't think 
I've really never heard anyone in the Ultimate community refer to him as anything other than Donnie or Donnie Light. Most I of the time that Donnie the Light gets dropped. I was going to say, I think that's the best Donnie. part is that it's like a shortened version of the nickname is his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what people, people call him Donnie now. <laughs> yeah, he is Donnie. <laughs> so he was named Donnie Light because at the time he was at school at JCU, he kind of looked like an older guy. Who, Donnie Patara. Who was named Donnie. And so yeah. they called him Donnie Light. <laughs> and then Donnie Patara is just out of the picture. He's gone. <laughs> so Donnie is Donnie. I think he manages uh, Chipotle somewhere on the east side. I think that's, that's right. I've seen him yeah. a couple times in there. Yeah. Random thought. Doesn't uh, doesn't play ultimate anymore, as far no. as I know. No. Yeah, it's it's a great name. It didn't really even look like him that much. <laughs> like it was a stretch. There there was a picture they got like dug up on Facebook a few months ago. From that first year, and they actually looked way more alike than I think they do now. I don't. I mean, I maybe like facial hair. No, yeah. Now Donnie has facial hair and stuff, and that Donnie Light. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie yeah, Light. we're talking yeah. about yeah. Donnie, uh, <laughs> not Donnie. <laughs> and Donnie Patera, like when I met him, had like really sort of long moppy hair. Yeah. And so, like for sure, I never thought they looked anything alike. But seeing that picture from I don't know, it must have been like. 2008 or something like that. That's a complete guess. <laughs> 2010. Close enough. Yeah, right yeah. around there. Yeah. 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 So what is our... So I think Dying Lights are number yeah, one. Yeah, Dying Lights, yeah, consensus. What do want to say else is... It, what else is in our top five? Gush. Gush. I think Wendy. Wendy is great. Yeah, Wendy. Wendy was not... In my top five, I mean, I don't really know Wendy, so he wasn't in my top oh, five. But I'm hearing this, hearing the story, uh, yeah, I think I think I can agree. I think Luda. Five. I put Luda up there. I mean, the fact that it, you know, we don't really have the story behind it, or it wasn't in Cleveland. That know. doesn't make it. That doesn't I, I, make it. I know it. that, but for <laughs> our. Yeah, I just. I, how I'm much gonna, I do I'm or don't hard like disagree. that it's not in the top five. Yeah. Okay. You're wrong. <laughs> Stitch has got to be up there. Yeah, I would say Stitch, Stitch Pinecone. Are uh, how many? How many are we at right now? We have Gush. We have Donny Light. We have. Do we all agree on Wendy? Yeah. Yeah, Wendy. So we have three. Um. Oh, man, I don't know. Those, those last two spots are tough. I want to give it to Curtains, because <laughs> it's the best origin story. <laughs> yeah, I think that one. I feel like Curtains and Stitch. Curtains and Stitch. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know about future. Well, okay. Well, we can't. Yeah, we can't decide. All right. I mean, I think I, I there's one that we're forgetting that I think we can all agree or at least pass in a two to three vote, which is Luby. <laughs> Luby. No. All right. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 That's a two. That's a two vote majority. Luby's in the top five. Oh my god. <laughs> Luby slides. In the top five. <laughs> I will say, as, uh, I think that at our our last tournament of the season, LP did give me a some big tube of of lube <laughs> as my my tournament buddy gift. Perfect. But no, it's bad. It's a bad name. All right. I think that's close enough to a consensus. Yeah. Yeah. If you disagree with us, if you agree, <laughs> send us your top five. <laughs> at the lookoff. At the, the underscore lookoff. <laughs> the underscore lookoff on Twitter or the lookoff podcast at gmail.com. Send us your best nicknames. All right. Well, that was our special episode. Joe, do you have anything coming up? Uh, no, I don't think so. We got Winter League coming up this week. Libby's going down. Whoever is filming our game, make sure to use Luby. Don't whenever, do it. Whenever applicable. Don't do it. Eric, I hope it's you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise... I don't know. Libby, you have any other CDA things you want to plug this week? <laughs> I am trying. Uh, if you haven't filled out the Summer League survey, do that. We're starting to get a move on fields. Um, yeah, planning's underway. I think keep an eye out for Spring League stuff. There'll be both uh, a men's and women's Spring League this year, which should be cool. Very cool. Uh, 
yeah, I think that's everything I got. We do, uh, I guess we do have at least sort of captains for the three, I mean, not counting Chimney, but North Coast and Smokestack and Notorious now all have their captain yeah. solidified. Yeah, that's true. We could throw those out there. So congratulations to Joe and Eric and Pinecone and to Abby Guybe and Abby Checkeye. Grabby. For Notorious. Yeah. For Notorious. <laughs> And Rooster and Twang, another nickname we didn't yeah, talk about. Yeah, name we didn't bring up, but... I yeah. actually even had it written down. Um, yeah, they're going to be heading up things for North Coast. Yeah, I think at least until the, the season starts. Yeah, yeah, they'll probably find some more people to help them yeah. out. But for right now, if you have questions, go to them. I got nothing else. Yeah. We'll be back next week with a normal Winter League episode, hopefully. Maybe a guest. Maybe a guest. Uh, by the time we record next week, there's a good chance that several teams will be eliminated from the playoffs. So it'll be a hot episode. Lots of hot takes. Somber. <laughs> is the word I was thinking of. <laughs> All right. Looking you off till next week. I'm Brad for Joe Mama and Luby. See you next time. <laughs> Thanks for listening.